Hi guys, welcome back to another part of Core Java tutorial. In this part, we will discuss about what is the use of finally block in Java. A finally block is actually used with a try block in Java. A finally block is executed whether regardless of whether there is an exception is caught or not. So if an exception is generated in that case, finally block is secured. If an exception is not, not generated, uh, in that case also the finally block will execute. So the finally block will ensure the consistency of your program. That means uh, that statements that definitely execute uh, regardless of whether an exception is generated or not must be placed on the finally block to ensure the consistency of your application. So uh, in this uh, in this part I will explain what is the use of finally block in Java. So to demonstrate it I will create a project. I will create a, a program here that contain a try block. Uh, corresponding to that try block, there are three catch statements. First one is an arithmetic exception, second one is an array index out of bound exception, and the final one is the common exception class. Here, there are these statements generated. Actually, these statements may generate two exceptions. First one is the array index out of bound exception, and second one is the arithmetic exception. So, here I'm going to create that finally block. So, after the last catch block I create that finally block here finally and just print out a message here system dot how dot print ln I am always run okay I place the finally block uh, after the last catch block and I save it. Now I am going to run it. So press F6 on your keyboard. Here I just provide two values uh, when I run this program 6 and 0. That means uh, this will cause a division by 0. That means an automatic exception here. So click OK. So here is the output. An automatic exception is generated here and I am always run. That means in this case here an exception is actually generated called the automatic exception. and also execute the finally block so the first is proved that means an exception if an exception is generated in that case the finally block definitely execute now checking for the second condition I run it again and provide here two that means in this case there is no exception is actually generated there is no automatic exception and there is no array index out of bound exception and click OK uh, now we got the result 6 by 2 is equal to 3 and I am always run that means the second condition is also proved that means uh, if there is no exception in that case also the finally block will definitely execute that is the use of finally block a finally block will definitely execute regardless of whether there is an exception is generated or not that is the use of a finally block with a try block guys thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial